enjoying a quiet little drop of coffee and actually thinking back to one of the activities that was on the Artastic Bingo weeks and weeks ago. Yep, I've decided that today I'm going to challenge you guys to see what you can use around your house to do drawing with. Let's imagine we don't have pens or pencils, or perhaps we actually don't. What could we use instead? So I had a little rummage in Duchess Doodle's cupboard. She's got some interesting things. Amongst the fairy dust and magic unicorn poo, I discovered soy sauce, coffee, which I'm drinking, and this kind of yellowy stuff, which actually was turmeric. Let's see what we can do with these things and see if we can make some artwork with them. So I've got my soy sauce, I've got my turmeric, and I've got my coffee, and I've got some water. And I went outside for a little walk yesterday and I collected myself some sticks. So I've got this one here, which has got kind of a little pointy end, and then it's got a bit more of a rough end, and there's this one here as well. So you can collect some different tools for actually drawing with, and then you've got your paint substitutes right here and you might have other ones that you use you could try paprika you could try balsamic vinegar but i'm going to try these three today with my water to help with some of the magic please make sure that you do ask your parents before you go rummaging and take any materials okay so let's make a start and let's first of all use our sketchbook or a scrap piece of paper to try and see what happens with different marks and different effects and then we can take it into a drawing. So I'm going to use my twigs and try out my new ingredients and see what different marks and effects I can get. Water helps to create different tonal values. Remember that different parts of your twig is going to get different effects. You might get thin marks with one side and thick marks with the other. Or perhaps a funny part of your twig might create an interesting texture which you can use later on. I'm loving the bright yellow of the turmeric. Let's try the coffee. So the coffee's a little bit weak, like my muscles from not doing any exercises. I think the soya sauce is probably a better option with a little bit of the turmeric. You guys can of course use whatever you want to use, but I'm gonna stick with these ingredients. So I've been on some walks recently and I've collected little bits of old flowers that have fallen off trees, seed pods, okay? And these are great for us to start painting because they've got a nice form to them. They've got some interesting textures and you can see that the shape is going to give us some nice opportunities to try out our shading. So I'm going to start off with this little guy here. He's very tiny so I'm going to have to use my superhero powers of enlargement today when I come to actually paint it. I'm going to pop him here and I'm going to spend the first few minutes doing the observational drawing protocol which we do in art which is start by connecting my eyes and my hands and my brain together as a little team. I'm going to look really carefully and trace with my fingers. So I'm going to start by doing all of my outline first but before I start on my paper I need to think about where it's going to go. So I'm going to think about, it's going to go in this area here, this bit's going to come out here. So I'm just tracing out with my finger roughly where my outline is going to go. Try your best to enlarge your drawing so that it fills your page and be careful to follow those lines and trace them slowly. When you've completed your outline, then you can start thinking about how you could add shading techniques in to bring some depth into your seed pod. And in order to do that, we need to look for the dark, medium and light tones in your seed pod first. Remember that special trick I taught you in art class? If you scrunch your eyes up, it helps to get rid of all the texture noise around and all you can really see are the different tones, light, medium and dark. So you can see that the dark's gonna go around here and then gradually get lighter here to medium tone and then lighter at the very top. Using the water helps to graduate your tones 
from darkness into light. And remember, if there's a really light area, you don't need to put any soya sauce there at all because you can use the white of the page to show the light area of your seed pod. Remember, you want that contrast of the very dark against the light because that's what's going to make your seed pod pop. Adding a shadow will help to ground your object and give more of an illusion of depth. So you've done this in stages. We started off with the outline first, then we added tone, looked for the lightest areas and the darkest areas, and now we're going to add the texture, which is the surface of your seed pod. Going back to some of those marks that you made with your twig in your sketchbook right at the beginning, you can take those now and apply them to the textures you're trying to create in your seed pod or natural object. When you add on your different textures, if you are following the contour lines of your actual shape, this will help to show the structure or form of the object that you're looking at and create the illusion of depth in your drawing. Ta-da! What you can do is soya sauce, turmeric and some twigs. Now it's your turn.